In this video, we're gonna do an easy 20 minute Tai Chi flow that's great for beginners using the movements of the Yang style 24 movement form, which is the most popular form in the world. All right, make sure you watch until the very end because I'm also gonna share one of my favorite poems that I created myself called White Crane Spreads Wings. Now for this session, you don't have to get anything perfect. You don't have to memorize anything. Just follow along and just do what you see. I'll be your mirror image, but if you go one way and I go the other, I promise I won't get mad. And then also I cue the breathing, but if that part stresses you out, you can just breathe normal. You can also do this sitting in a chair, standing, or you can alternate sitting and standing as needed. All right, but if you're standing, we'll begin with the feet together or as close as you can. The hands can come to the lower abdomen, you can close your eyes or just keep a soft gaze. As you breathe in, the belly expands. And as you breathe out, the belly returns towards the spine. Abdominal breathing. Breathing in and breathing out, coming into the present moment. Arriving in the body, getting out of our heads, letting go of our worries of the day. And then on the next inhale, you can hold the breath at the top of the inhale just for a moment, and then let it out with a big sigh, <sighs> just letting out tension and stress. And the hands can float down by the sides. As you breathe in, the arms float up. They circle in front as if you're gathering an energy right into the heart. Send it back down through the body into the earth, sinking the chi. Let's do that one again. It's a great way just to organize the energy, just to ground and center before the flow, or actually to start the flow. Adding in some gentle movements one more time, sink the chi. And then from here, you can step one foot out to the side, either foot, the arms float up in front to about shoulder height, then the arms get heavy, floating down, the knees and hips can soften. Opening the door, the first movement of our form, the start of the journey, sometimes called commencing. Breathing in and breathing out. Like mist rising from the lake, the arms float up and the arms float down. One more time, open the door. This time, circle the arms around as if you're hugging a big tree, rounding out the arms. The arms open up wide, then this arm scoops under, step in as you catch the moon. Top hand goes behind the back, we'll step right out to the side, and as you step out, the bottom hand tosses the moon off into the sky. And then circle it back around. Toss away. This time the other hand comes back on top, catch the moon. The bottom hand tosses away, the other hand stays behind. Parting the wild horse's mane. Breathing in, breathing out. Nice and easy, nice and slow, no rush. Nowhere to go. One more time, circle it around, and then toss away. Then this time, stay with me here. So sit back, the hand floats across the horizon, and step in, catch the moon. We'll go to the other side, the top hand goes away, and then we'll step out, the bottom hand tosses the moon. Circle it back around, toss away, as if you could toss the moon. The other hand comes back on top, catch the moon. The bottom hand tosses away, the other hand pushes down, parting the horse's mane, creating tranquility out of chaos, the calm within the storm. All right, one more time, parting the horse's mane. And then from here, sit back and hug the tree, right out in front, bring it back to center. <sighs> The arms open. This hand scoops under, the other hand on top as we catch the moon, and the bottom hand comes up. The other hand pushes down. Then circle it back around. Just the arms at first. You can shift the weight to the same side as the arm going up. All right, and then this time, as the arm goes up, the opposite foot taps right out in front, like you're testing out the waters. Step back in, catch the moon. The white crane spreads its wings. Beautiful. Breathing in, catch the moon. Breathing out, spread your wings. All right, one more time. Beautiful. All right, this time step in and catch the moon, and then we'll spin the moon. Nice and easy, nice and slow, 
bottom hand comes up and over, the other hand pushes down, and then circle it back around. Once again with just the arms, shifting the weight if you like. All right, this time you can tap the toes right out in front of the opposite foot. The white crane spreads wings, step back in, catch the moon. Bottom hand comes up, the other hand pushes down. You got it. All right, one more time. White crane spreads wings. Beautiful. You guys get it. All right, this time step in and hug the tree right out in front. Then this hand here drops down, toss away. The other hand comes on top as you step in. This hand pushes down as the other hand waves in. Breathing in, breathing out as you soften the hips and knees. One more time, pressing down and waving in. This time we'll step out to the side, and as you step out, the bottom hand brushes past the knee. The top hand pushes right across to the side. Then the top hand circles down, the bottom hand comes up, coming back to the beginning, brush knee and push. Breathing in, circle it around, weaving it all together, breathe out. All right, one more time. Brush, knee, and push. All right, and then from here, sit back. The hands float back to the center. Then this hand here drops down, the other hand on top. Step in. Both hands together, pushing down and waving in as you soften the hips and knees. Rising back up, pressing down and waving in. Breathing. Then we'll step out to the other side. As you step out, the bottom hand brushes past the knee, the top hand pushes right across. The top hand floats down, bottom hand circles up, brush knee and push. And as always, don't worry about getting it perfect. As long as you're moving, I'm happy. Keep on making circles, eventually you'll probably get it if you don't already. But you all look great. One more time, brush knee and push. All right, then from here, sit back, the hands float back to the center, hug the tree right out in front. The arms open up wide, then the fingertips drift towards each other and the hands float down. Then we'll just begin to drift over to one side, and drift over to the other, like tall grass in the breeze. A nice gentle sway, and then come on over to one side and then tap the heel right out in front. Bring it back in, shift the weight, other side, tap the heel. All right, this time tap the heel, the hand comes right over the foot on the same side. Other side, tap the heel, hand over the foot. All right, this time hand over the foot, other hand over the knee, playing the pipa, Chinese guitar. Other side, hand over the foot, other hand over the knee. You can even circle it around if you want. Sometimes called strumming the lute. Breathing in. Breathing out. All right, one more time. Playing the pipa. All right, step back in and hug the tree, rounding out the arms. This time the hands flip. The bottom hand drops down and then toss it away. And then the hand waves in towards the center and then press forward right towards me. The other hand drops down, toss away, fold it in, repulsing the monkey. Breathing in. <sighs> Breathing out. You can even lean into it if you want. Repulsing the monkey, calming the monkey mind. All right, one more time. Beautiful. All right, this time circle around and hug the tree, rounding out. The arms open up wide, then this hand scoops under, step in as you catch the moon. This time, as we step out, the bottom arm passes right through the waterfall. The other hand pushes down. Then circle it back around, warding off. All right, one more time. This time, the bottom hand scoops under, the fingertips slide down the curtain. And then circle it back around. We call this one rolling back. One more time. Circle it around, slide down and then toss it away, right up on the shelf. Then the arm folds in, pressing palm to palm, shift forward. Slide down, toss away, 
press. One more time. We call this one the press. <laughs> All right, now this time the hands separate. Draw the hands in towards the heart and then push back out. We call this one the push. Breathing in and breathing out. As we learn to move like nature, like the rivers in the ocean, the tide rolls in, the tide rolls out. And then from here, sit back, the hand wipes right across the horizon. Then step in and catch the moon. We'll step out to the other side. As you step out, the bottom arm passes right through the water. The other hand pushes down, circle it back around, warding off. One more time. This time the hand scoops under, the fingertips slide down, rolling back. Circle it around again, sometimes called yielding, this receiving. Can we receive as gracefully as we give? One more time, roll back, and then toss it away right up on the shelf. The hand folds in palm to palm, press forward, slide down, Toss away, press. All right, one more time. Just keep on moving. Letting go of any tension you don't need. And then from here, the hands separate, draw in, and then push back out as we do the push. Breathing in, <sighs> breathing out. All right, one more time. All right, this time sit back, wipe across the horizon, step in, catch the moon. We'll do each movement one time, grasping the bird's tail. Step out and ward off, roll back, toss away, press, release, draw in, and push. Beautiful, you got it. All right, sit back and Open, wipe across the horizon, step in, catch the moon. Each movement one time, grasping the bird's tail. Step out and ward off. Roll back. Toss away. Press. Release. Draw in. And push. Beautiful. All right, this time sit back and hug the tree. Bring it right back to center. <sighs> The arms open up wide. This hand here drops down and drifts over to the other side. The hands switch positions, and then they float across like clouds in the sky. When you get to the corner, the hands switch again. Wave hands like clouds. Breathe in, breathe out, or take as many breaths as you need. Cloudy hands, like a moving meditation. All right, one more time. This time the top hand makes a hook. The bottom hand comes up. The bottom hand floats right across the horizon. The palm turns out, shoulders sink. Circle it around again, just the arms at first. <sighs> Still breathing. This time you can step in as the hand comes up. And then step out, the hand floats across. Once again, single whip. Circle it back. All right, one more time. This time, stay with me here. We're in a reverse direction. The hand comes up and over, and then melting down, the hand scoops through, and then back up. Snake creeps through the grass. Let's do that again. You can always soften the hook arm if it's getting tired, by the way. <laughs> one more time, snake creeps down. And then release the hook. The hand drifts over. The hands become clouds. Once again, drifting across the sky. You can step in too. Feels a little more comfortable. <sighs> Breathing, letting go of any tension you don't need. This time the top hand makes a hook. The bottom hand comes up. The bottom hand floats across, palm turns out. <sighs> Softening at the end. Circle it around again. One more time, just the arms. This time you can step in as the hand comes up and then step out, single whip. Breathing in, breathing out. Beautiful. One more time, 
single whip. And then reverse direction. The hand comes up and over and then melting down. The hand scoops through and back up. And as always, it doesn't matter how low you go. Just meeting yourself where you're at. One more time, snake creeps down. And release the hook. The hands become clouds once again. And with each passing of the clouds, the feet can get a little closer. Coming to a comfortable stance where you feel nice and stable and present. Beautiful. All right, one more time, cloud hands. This time, hug the tree, bring it back to center. The arms open up wide, then the hands begin to float down, step one foot in, and then cross the wrists right in front of the heart. Then step out to the side as the hands brush out as well. This time, you can lift the knee if you want, touching down as needed. Step back out. All right, this time, you can point the knee to the corner. Or you can keep it straight ahead. That's easier for you for now. And then from here, you can kick out your heel. Now you can kick it straight out to the corner or down to the floor or anywhere in between. All right, now this time we'll open up the arms as you kick the heel. And then bring it back in. It's called step up and kick with heel. Let's do that one again. Sometimes I just call it the heel kick for short. All right, you can always hold on to a chair for this one or the wall or a friend. All right, one more time, heel kick. Beautiful, step down to center, the arms spread out to the sides. This time, step the other foot in, cross the wrists. Step out to the side, the hands brush out as well. This time you can lift the knee if you want. Once again, you can keep the toe down as needed. Meeting yourself where you're at. This time, if you want, you can lift the knee even higher. All right, and then this time you can point the knee to the corner. Or once again, you can keep it straight ahead. And then we can kick the heel either straight to the corner or down to the floor or anywhere in between. And then finally, we can open the arms as we kick the heel kick. Stepping down, let's do that one again. And I'll show you how you can do it, kicking down. That still counts. All right, one more time. Step up and kick with heel. Beautiful. All right, the hands circle around, hug the big tree right out in front. Breathing in, the arms open. Breathing out, the fingertips drift towards each other and the hands float down. And we'll just continue to drift over to one side but this time the arms float up and then drift over to the other. Once again, just a nice gentle sway. All right, now this time, this hand here is gonna scoop down and come right out in front as the elbow bends. Hands float down, we'll do that again on the same side. So just the arms at first, coming right out in front. All right, now this time you can unweight the same side leg, lifting the knee, once again, touching down as needed. The rooster stands on one leg. Let's do that one again. You can even lift a little higher if you want. It's okay if you wobble. <laughs> That's actually training the balance. One more time, the rooster. The elbow right over the thigh. Beautiful. All right, this time the hands drift over to the other side. The hands float up. And this hand here scoops down and comes right out in front. The other hand down by the hip. The hands float down, we'll do that again on the same side. Just the arms at first again. Beautiful. All right, now this time, if you want, you can lift the leg on the same side. Touching down as needed. The rooster stands on one leg. Let's do that one again. Beautiful. All right, one more time. Sometimes called the golden rooster. Stands on one leg. Beautiful. All right, circle around and hug the big tree right out in front. This time the arms open, the hands float down, the palms face up, one hand on top of the other. And this hand here drops down and floats all the way up and over and then down the center line of the body. 
Then the other hand floats up as you breathe in, as you breathe out, centering. Let's do that one again. One more time, creating mental focus and clarity. And then both arms float all the way up and over. They drift down towards the waist as you soften the hips and knees. And circle the hands in front as if you had a big ball right in front of the body, scooping under, back up to the heart, and down. All the way up and over, down to the waist again. But this time we'll make a diamond shape with the hands right in front of the heart, and then press out, opening the heart. The hands float down, we'll do that again. Breathing in as you rise up. Breathing out as you soften and float down. Circling the ball, gathering in the energy to transform into loving kindness and self-compassion right at the heart. And then last one, all the way up and over, down to the waist. This time we'll make the diamond shape again right in front of the heart and then press out, reaching, connecting, sending out all your loving kindness out to the world. May all beings be free from suffering. May they be happy. May they be healthy. May they live with ease. And then turning your palms to face yourself, the hands come to the heart. May I be kind to myself. May I feel connected with all beings. May I love myself just as I am. And then the hands can float down to the lower abdomen. You can step your feet together or as close as you can. Close your eyes or just keep a soft gaze and let your body rock and sway ever so slightly. Bamboo in the wind. Really feeling into the body. Noticing the sensations. Mindfulness. And then bringing your attention to your breath. Noticing the inflow and the outflow of the breath without trying to control it in any way. Just letting the universe breathe you. You don't have to do a thing. And then you can bring your attention into your heart, expressing gratitude to yourself for being here today to cultivate flexibility, balance, and strength of body and mind and compassion in the heart. And then if your eyes were closed, you can slowly open them. The hands can come together in front of the heart. And we can finish with a bow. Thank you all so much for joining me for this 24 form flow. <laughs> Hope you all enjoyed it. All right. So what I want to do is actually share one of my own personal poems. I've been actually composing my own poetry over the last couple months. And it's just a way of practicing mindfulness for me. It's, making, it's allowing me to be more mindful because it allows me to kind of be more, pay more attention to some of the subtle things that I usually just pass right over. All right, so it's usually based on nature, Tai Chi, family, and the community. And of course, mindfulness. All right, and for those that don't know what mindfulness means, it's basically paying attention to the present moment, whatever arises on purpose without judgment. So that's kind of like a, a pretty common definition, but with kindness is what I would add. Because it's really easy to be concentrated and focused, but you can do that and still be miserable. It's when we add in that kindness to ourself that makes it mindful and compassionate. And that's really the, pretty much the whole core of what I want people to, to, to learn from me, I guess. So, and I'm just passing on what I've learned. So anyways, here is my poem of the day. It's called White Crane Spreads Wings. Winter's first snow arrives at night before the world begins to wake. The new season finally opening up like a white crane spreading its wings. The energy of play permeating the air as my daughter arises to a winter delight. Memories of my own childhood mixed with the snow 
as we bring little snowmen to life. With love and nostalgia filling my heart, I take a moment to breathe. As the past and the present mingle as one, I see connection in a whole new light. I hope you enjoyed that Tai Chi flow and that poem that I created called White Crane Spreads Wings. And so the next video in the series is gonna be very helpful if you're low on energy, you wanna feel refreshed, invigorated, and really increase your sensitivity to sensations that we normally tune out. It's called invigorating Qigong flow. So remember, Qigong means energy exercise. So this will help to really increase your energy. So just click on the link right here to watch the next video, Invigorating Qigong Flow, and I'll see you over there.